The modeling wizards are a set of commands that help DesignX users extract CAD features of complex geometries from 3D scan data regions with just a couple of mouse clicks. And because it's DesignX, the sketches and features created by the wizards can be edited by the user both immediately in the software or in other CAD software like SolidWorks, NX, Creo, and Inventor. You have full control over where the feature is located, how it's oriented, and even how to balance sketch complexity with fitting accuracy. We can find the modeling wizards in a couple places in DX. They have a space here on the Home tab, a space on the Model tab, and of course, you can find them all in the Menu, Insert, Modeling Wizard dropdowns. They can even be accessed from the right-click context menu through the Insert or Cut options. There are five main modeling wizards, Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, Loft, and Pipe. The Primitives tools, as well as the Mesh Fit command, also fit into this category somewhat, so we'll discuss them in a bit. We'll start with the Revolve wizard, as it's arguably the most straightforward. In this wizard, the user is asked to select mesh triangles or regions that represent a revolved shape. The wizard can estimate the axis of revolution, or an existing axis can be selected. And the extracted sketch will be revolved with full 360 degrees about it, unless the partial shape option is enabled. Finally, the resulting body can be a new solid or surface, or it can be used to cut into or merge with any existing bodies. In the next stage, there are options for adding or reducing sketch complexity, increasing or decreasing sketch element fitting accuracy, and how large of gaps can be bridged by sketch elements if the mesh has holes or discontinuous regions were selected in the previous. The final button will remove any small tangent radii from the sketch as 3D scans rarely have perfectly sharp corners. The model view also has a preview of the body to be generated along with the sketch that creates it. The accuracy analyzer can be used in this stage to visualize the changes that all of the controls make in real time. When the wizard is accepted, the feature tree will receive some new reference geometry unless an axis and sketch plane were reused from existing constructions, a sketch, and a solid or surface revolve feature. All of these entities can be edited while in DesignX and of course in another CAD package after the model is live transferred to it. The extrusion wizard works much in the same way, although the first step allows the user to select regions and or reference geometry to define the top and bottom of the extrusion, as well as the sides that define the sketch. If the extrusion terminates in a non-planar shape, the wizard can fit a surface to it and trim the extrusion with that surface. Step two is the same as the revolve wizard with the exception that of a selectable draft angle and draft estimation tool. Accepting the extrusion wizard will build a reference plane if one wasn't reused during setup, and then a mesh sketch and the extrusion operation. Of course, these can be edited in DX or downstream after live transfer too. The sweep wizard can extract both a profile sketch and a sweep path from regions or a mesh selection, and the sketches can be either line art combinations or splines. An existing 2D or 3D sketch could be substituted for either. The second stage allows users to cap the ends, resulting in a solid sweep, which can be cut from or merged into existing bodies. There are also options to edit the extracted sketches. The pipe wizard is a lot like the sweep wizard, except the sweep profile is a circle whose radius can be best fit to the data or defined by the user. A major difference though, is that the pipe wizard allows a selection of mesh triangles, regions, or points from a point cloud, which makes it more useful on long range scan data. It is often too large to be converted to a mesh efficiently. The loft wizard can create open or closed loft sections on a mesh triangle or region selection. The cross sections can be oriented and surface size bound using the control box or by selecting an existing plane or curve. The number of loft sections can be a function of the resultant surface accuracy or determined manually, as can the smoothness of the surface with a slider, major CAD packages after live transfer. This is the big difference between the loft wizard and the mesh fit tool, which can create similar complex surfaces from mesh selections and regions, but those surfaces are not parametric and cannot be edited once transferred to another CAD software. Finally, the solid and surface primitives commands. These create solid and surface bodies from mesh regions in a similar way to the other wizards, only that the surfaces will always be perfect planes, cones, cylinder, tori, spheres, and boxes. The automatically extract shape option allows multiple surfaces to be fit to selected regions with the desired geometry very quickly, or one or more regions can be selected to extract one specific shape. The primitive surfaces and solids can be extended beyond the bounds of the regions they're extracted from, and a partial cylinder, sphere, or cone can be revolved instead of the full 360 if desired. 
Like the wizards, the primitives create a sketch on a plane that is either extruded or revolved around an axis. Each of these features in the tree can be modified, dimensioned, or used to merge or cut with the existing CAD bodies in the model. The modeling wizards in Design X are the closest anyone's ever come to the holy grail easy button that converts a 3D scan into a fully featured design intent CAD model that functions seamlessly inside your existing modeling software. If you have a good grasp on how to break down your scans into their existing extrusion, revolve, sweep, or loft features, these tools can save you a ton of manual work. They're a big part of why DesignX is the fastest path from scan to CAD. Thanks for watching.